Praise God, this is uh, EC here in uh, Greenville again, and um, at my normal spot, getting ready to preach. I did see like a crowd of people outside one of the bars down there, and uh, think about doing a walkthrough. Haven't done that in a while, and uh, go ahead and get started, you know, drum up some business. I used to do this like really early on, just kind of walk through, let people know that I was here and that, you know, they would come to where I was at. But yeah, I haven't done it in a while. Looks like it might be a little bit tricky to get through, but uh, I'll give it my best shot. So uh, here we go. Repent! Repent and believe! Believe it or not, one day you will die and meet the God of the Bible. Are you ready for your judgment? This is not the way. They misnamed this club. This is not the way. Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. There is salvation through no other name. You're going the wrong way if you are going into this club full of lust, full of sin. It all leads to destruction. I'm just okay. Party. Good. Well, why Christian. are you dressed like that? Do you see how far my dress is down? Yeah, it's not down far so enough. What? What is your religion? What is my religion? Yes. I have no religion. I believe the Bible. I believe the Bible as well. well why and are you modestly right dressed? Now. I'm going to tell you right now that mm -hmm. God is the only one who's allowed to judge. So why are you? No, your no, judgment? He's not. Yes, he, he is. He gave us the right to judge. Jesus God told us to told judge. Us, no, Jesus told us. He, he You're going to preach to me about the Bible. He came here to You're going to tell me what the Bible says. I am because I go to church every fucking Sunday. And oh, F-bomb. Okay, okay. Lukewarm. Tell us that we are Cucorm, not Christian. Doing. I can smell liquor on your breath, too. Oh, you can? Yes. Really? Because I haven't drank any. Really? Really? Yes, sir, I have not. And you know what? I'm out here with a sorority because my best friend needed a date. So I came here for him. So, no, listen. He says that Jesus says we can all judge. We can all judge. When in John reality, 7, 24. Look it up. When in reality, Do you have a Bible? No, Charlie, obviously Charlie, not with me. When all of us fell. The Bible Charlie tells Isabel. us to love everyone we're supposed to love. And you're here oh, judging this is my, everyone This is my here. love. This is my message of love. Okay. No, this is not. your message of love. Yeah. Then we will leave your message it's of love. It's a sin. Alone. It's a Charlie sin Isabel, not to we love. need to go. And you're being ridiculous. Is it you wrong? Is it love. wrong to judge? It yes. is wrong. Jo That's a judgment. Wait, you're a hypocrite. Judging? You're judging us. Let's you're go. I'm supposed Charlie. to judge. Right. I'm supposed Charlie. to judge. Charlie. Charlie. I see you as a camera. When we all die, I'm trying to get God her. judges us. Yeah, he that's will. That's what you need to remember. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. This is not the way. Stop judging me. You told me not to judge. Stop judging me. Stop judging my judging. So what do we have here out here? Drunks tonight. Drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. Women dressed immodestly. What sense does that make? It's 40 degrees out here. You're dressed immodestly. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. Check the list. I'm going to turn around the list for y'all. Use my bullhorn so I can cut through the music there. Yes, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the way. Not some stupid bar, some dive in Greenville.
Jesus Christ is the way. You're trying any other way, you will not go to heaven. There is salvation through no other name but Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was totally intolerant. He said, I am the way. He said, there was no other way. Jesus Christ is the way. You're out here to get drunk. You're out here to inflame lust in others. You're in sin. And God is angry with you. God is angry with this place. God is ready to pour out His wrath on this place. But thanks to people who are interceding for this country, God's wrath has not fallen. Not yet. Not yet. I can't believe all the women I see out here dressed like whores tonight. Don't tell me, don't tell me all the women dressed like that are whores. Line up. Line up for hellfire. That's what the line leads to. Leads to hellfire. If this is such a great place of just people having fun, why do they have bouncers? Why do they have security? Why do they have police patrolling these streets every few minutes? Sin leads to more sin. Plain and simple. Why don't you take your own advice? You might as well be. Didn't God say in Malachi, I'm going to spread dung on your face for because of your sin? What are you, what are you preaching at all, man? I'm preaching the Word. What's the Word? The Word is, you're, everybody's got a sin problem. But there's a solution. It's Jesus Christ. The repentance. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's a great. That's a great message, isn't it? I mean, I love Jesus Christ. I love God. Oh, He's great, saved. great, great. That's awesome. You need to say like what's right, and what's wrong. Though you're not God. You're not Jesus Christ. Oh, it's Christ. not my word. Not my word at all. No, I'm just preaching the word. I'm preaching what God says is right and wrong. And God says drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. Says so what? Neither will fornicators. Drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. So what do you do on the low key? Because you're probably a bunch of perverts. Let's be real. I'm not a pervert. I'm not. So what do you used do? to be. You used to be. I used to be addicted to porn. Yeah. I used to be addicted to pornography. But always, always. Used to be alcoholic. It's all gone. So what's what's happened since you stopped doing that? Like what's changed? Oh, well, I, I repented. I repented in Jesus Christ. Gave me the gift of grace. And grace allows you to not sin. I'm not saying it was easy. It wasn't easy. It was a hard struggle. But uh, I did get out of it. What did you gain from it? What did I gain from it? I had the happiest life I've ever had. These past few years, when I got right with God, I've never been happier. And I'm content. You know, you talk, you talk to somebody on the why street. Are you here? If you're content, then why are you hmm? here? Well, I want other people to be that way. You're clearly upset. You're clearly very bad and angry. Oh, no. I'm not bad and angry. Maybe it's sin. Either trying to make money or what are you trying to do? I'm not trying to make money. No, this is what I was commanded to do. This is what I was commanded to do. By God, could God command yes. you to do this? Jesus said, go into all the world. So he actually came to you. You you saw him and you heard him and you felt him? I have seen him. I have not heard him except through the Bible. You saw him where you were. No, it was a vision. Okay. Yeah. I feel him all the time. What he wants. Why not? Why not? This is what he did. I'm, I'm preaching the way Jesus preached. Well, actually not, because he called he called people snakes and vipers. So, haven't done that tonight yet. I mean, he 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 whipped people. What do you hope to gain from this? What I hope to gain from this? I'm hoping that people will repent and believe the gospel and live holy lives. I mean, someone could go in there and get drunk. Get behind the wheel of a car and kill somebody tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I got to warn people against that. I mean, you got these women walk around dressed immodestly. What if some Muslim rape gang gets them? I guarantee you there's no Muslim rape gang here. Not in America. I don't know if there's any in Greenville. Okay. I don't. 
I don't know. I know there's a mosque here. I haven't seen it. I, I think they closed it down, but yeah, I mean, there's there's rape gangs operating here in America. It's really big in Europe. I'm just curious. I'm, yeah. I'm very interested as well. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, it's not normal. You know, there's not a lot of street preachers out there. But, um, you know, I'm just hoping that somebody will listen, you know. I mean, we're in a time of increased wickedness, you know. People got to save themselves from that. You know, I mean, don't you believe that there's a punishment by God prepared for sin? You know, like people like Hitler and Mussolini, do you think they uh, received their punishment for what they did? I mean, personally, like, I believe wherever you go in your life, it's kind of like the life that you live right now beyond that. So, like, for example, like the life that you're living right now, the next life that you live will reflect off of what you did in this past life and it's kind of whatever it's whatever path you want to go on and you can either like bring yourself to a higher point because there's the place that we're at right now and there's also the angels and god above so you can keep reliving the same comfortable place that you're in right now and you can go to a higher point it depends on what you want and if what you want to do is preach god fucking do it i mean i i have no problem with what you're doing right now i think that what you're doing is fine Okay. I just think that like it's a matter of where you want to go next. Do you want to stay here? Are you comfortable with where you are, or do you want to go beyond? Well, this is what God's told me to do for right now. I mean, if He tells me to do something later, you know, I'll do that. I mean, He had me start a church, so I started a church. You know, that's all. That's all I really care about. Uh huh. I don't want to do that's, that's probably the, at the end of the day. Life is too beautiful for you to put. Thanks. There. That's there my card. Because I do do more than this, you know. I do have, you know, preach online. Hoping to have a building one day, you know. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. You know, we'll see where God takes it, you know. But, yeah, I mean, I definitely lived the best life I have. I mean, if you had told me five years ago, Phil, you know, you're not going to be drinking anymore. You're not going to be playing video games you're not gonna be well some video games i don't i don't think all video games are evil you won't be playing these you know you won't be watching netflix and you won't be you know watching porn that's that's i'd, I'd say you're crazy you know there's, there's no way because that that to me was like the way the way i should you know i could be happy i could be happy that way but if i gave all that up i i, I saw my happiness would go away if i gave all that up but, I mean, finally, God just broke me and just, you know. And, you know, I've had times in my life where, you know, you kind of get touched and you go through a few months, you know, like being like gung-ho for God. And then, you know, it kind of dwells down, you know, goes down a little bit. And you wait for the next hire or whatever. But this last time I said, what if? What if I went all in? And what if I just gave it all to God? And, you so know, like, it's, you I've never been happier. Like, what makes you so happy? I'm just curious because, mm -hmm. like, personally, I live a great life. I pray to God every day. I pray to the universe. I believe in God. I believe in the universe. I believe in aliens. I believe in a lot of things because it's all connected in one. I think we are all one. And I pray every day. And I probably live one of the most, out of all my friends and everything that I meet people and experience, I am so freaking grateful and lucky that it's just unbelievable. And I think I'm, I'm just, I think that, like, I'm very happy as it is with who I am right now. So, like, what makes you like? What? What is? What is? What? Why are you so happy? Like, what makes? What makes? Like, what? Like, what do you feel? Well, I'm just content, you know. I'm and content, um, but I don't. You know, I'm living holy, so I know I'm right with God. So there's none of this, you know, conviction or, you know, because some. I mean, do you believe that we have a spirit within us? Yeah. Okay. And when we when we do wrong against that spirit, the spirit's going to let us know. I mean, I believe that our soul is very pure, and our soul carries on. And when we die, our energy is dispersed. And we, the thing is, though, is when we die, is how, we don't know what happens. I don't know what you do. You don't know what happens. Oh, I know what happens when we die. We face judgment. That's what the when Bible says. Die. Have I died? No. But, I mean, that's what the Bible says. I so believe the Bible. So how do you know if you haven't done it? How do you know? That's what the Bible why says. Why is it not okay to just be like, hey, like, I don't know what happens when we die. Like, why is that not okay? Well, because I believe the Bible. And if I say, I don't know what happens when we die, 
then I'm saying that I don't believe the Bible. Because the Bible says there is, there is, so you will die and you will face judgment. I don't know. I just think it's completely acceptable to, at the end of the day, be a human being and say to yourself, I don't know what happens when I die. No one does. No one in this fucking world knows what happens when you die. No one. Not a single person. It's a fucking fact. What about people that have actually been dead but have come back? And I've said things like, you know, so you I've know been to heaven or I've been to hell. Like when, uh, when you die, chemicals get released into your brain. You start to oh, yeah. see things. Mm -hmm. How do you determine what's reality and what's not? You can't. Well, that's why we stand on the word. The word of what? The word of not knowing what happens? The word of God. I mean, wouldn't, if, if there was a God, you, I think you said you believed in God. I believe in God. Wouldn't he know what happens when we die? Sure, I ain't supposed to be all knowing. I haven't talked to God. I haven't mm -hmm. spoken. With oh, why? Well, why have you talked to? You should. You should talk to God. I haven't actually heard words from God speak to my ears. But yeah, sure, I've talked to Him in my own time. But it's not like I've actually seen Him nor heard Him. Mm -hmm. Have you? You know, I've never heard audible words to my ears from God. Yeah. But yes, God has spoken to me. Yes. Yeah. He can speak to you tonight. Sure. I know. I'm just open. Sure just open are. up your Bible. Yeah. Oh, my crowd left. Oh, there was a nice crowd here. And uh, had an interesting conversation there. I might go back to my other spot. We'll see. Yeah, definitely an interesting night. I'm going to sign up for that. If they ask, yes. If they repent, yes, he will forgive them. He absolutely will. Hey, how you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. I went yeah. online and looked you up, man. I, I, you even had me on there for a while. Are you taping tonight? I'm taping tonight. Yeah, I tape all the time. Yeah. It's going right now. Yeah, it's going right now. You're thinking that Jesus saves, and more people should know it, because this world is going on an inverse bell curve. In other words, we're not going up to find a medium at a new high and come down. We're going down. I, looking at it from afar, mm -hmm. the culture, you can see the Roman culture went down. Yes. Because of homosexuality. Yes. And licentiousness. Yep. And many other factors. Where do you think we're going? On that long view, what have we got going on now? We're lucky we're holding together with the help of God, but yeah. I don't see uh, I don't see a real positive future for for the so-called American people. No, huh? You you know what I'm saying? You I know I know exactly what you're saying. We're, we're going. I mean, the things we tolerate now. Yeah. And I, uh, it's not about me. It's about the country. And but everybody seems to be on their own sheet of music. We've lost that pioneering spirit. You know, when the forefathers came, they were men and women and they did things. And now, hell, we got our own Marines chopping off their genitalia. Yes. Paid for by our government. It's called gender yep. reassignment. Mm -hmm. And society says that's cool for Americans, of course. Of course, uh, that's the same sin many nations died for. The sin of Sodom, of Sodom, of Gomorrah, yep. many others. Those are just two I mentioned that are in the Holy Scripture, but there are others like Can Canaan and uh, there's the Boam, Adma. Weimar Republic. Hmm? One could even say the Weimar Republic before Germany. Yeah. The cabaret, the life, you know, life is a cabaret, old chum. Mm -hmm. Come to the cabaret. Hey, no. Okay, may God protect us. Yes. I wish you all the best. You are uh, sober-minded. Yep. Glad to be back. Be a, I'll be at Mardi Gras in a few weeks. You're going down I, the yeah, I, uh, yeah, I covet your prayers. Because that's rough. That's rough. This, this is a picnic. 
I've had some people get in my face tonight, but this is a picnic compared to Mardi Gras. Is that right? Yeah. We had a couple, couple people get slashed last year at Mardi not Gras. Not here. You mean not here, not here, but yeah. Mardi Gras. Our Mardi Gras, yeah. Because the Satan, the spirit of, of do whatever, as Alistair Crawley said, the spirit of do whatever one will. Yeah. Rules. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they give up God's will to do their own will. And that destruction, bad. Bad choice every time. Every time. Go with God's will. Okay. All right. Nice to see you again. Good to see you. All right. <sighs>